what do we have here? Hey everybody, I'm Tyler with Boost Junkie Media and today I'm bringing you another video. Uh, we're just going to kind of go over a couple of new things that have uh, been happening here as of recently with the garage and things that have been going on. Uh, this particular video, we're going to talk a little bit about the garage floor. And you may have seen in the little intro clip or in the photo, the thumbnail, um, here is basically our new floor. Um, I'm going to kind of see if I can't get down here and get it to where you can hopefully see it better. But this is the new floor that I had kind of referenced in a video a few weeks ago. Um, basically, this is a... Um, floor that was done by a company called garage experts um, it is a epoxy floor so it's got an epoxy base coat and then they do the chip uh, addition on top and then on top of that they do a it's a polyurea two-part uh, polyurethane um, the whole system is a two-part the, the last part is just a single coating but it's a polyurea polyurethane uh, clear gloss top coat that goes on everything and protects it um, it was done about a week ago, actually about eight days ago now. Uh, I did have to have everything out of the garage, obviously, to let it cure and everything. So today, well, yesterday and today are pretty much the first two days that I've been able to actually bring the cars in and have them in the garage. Um, so that's kind of where we're at now. So this is basically how it looks with, there's the S550 with the cars in the garage and I do absolutely love it um, it is awesome it uh, it does have some texture so it does have some grip to it um, so you're not gonna slip and slide if you know if you had some water in here uh, but it looks great it feels good it feels extremely durable uh, very well done I'm extremely happy with it uh, basically, they, they did the whole system. They came, they took the floor down to absolutely nothing. They took it down to completely bare concrete. Um, that took about, about a full day to get the prep work done. And then they did the base coat and the chips at the end of that day. That cured overnight. And then the second day they came back, uh, cleaned up the excess chips that didn't stick in the base coat. So they, they take all those up. And then they put down the top coat. The once the top coat is done, then you just have to let it sit and cure for, like I said, it was about a week uh, is what they recommended just because of the cars with the sticky tires and everything. They thought that that would be better um, to do, to let, you know, let it sit for at least a week. So that's what I did. Uh, we are beyond that now. So the cars are back in. We're starting to bring everything back into the, back into the shop. And yeah, so the floor before, I don't know if you guys had really seen, I hadn't really addressed it, but it was, it had been painted on, uh, it would peel up every so often, the edges would start to peel, especially where the tires sit from hot tire pickup. So that was just really not ideal. Um, over in the lift bay, when you would step and walk, you could actually catch your, your feet on the edges of it as it would peel up. It just wasn't, it wasn't good. Uh, this, well, this is not the cheapest setup ever. It is, it should last. There should be no reason why this won't last quite a while. Sorry about that. Uh, the uh, camera filled up on me, so I had to cut the clip right there and just keep going. Um, so I'm not sure exactly where I was at or what I was saying, but yeah, so the garage floor, everything is is kosher. Good to go with that. Um, like I said, the, the name of the company is Garage Experts. They do have, it looks like chapters pretty much all over the country or franchises all over the country. Uh, mine happened to be local to me here, fairly close. Um, they were also extra very cool because they let me keep uh, one of my cars in their shop for just a little while since it had to be out of the garage and uh, I didn't really want it sitting out in the elements so they let, they let me keep it in their uh, garage for a few days um, while I could make arrangements to find somewhere else to put it. So that was extra cool of them. They didn't have to do that. I really appreciate that. So um, if you guys are looking for something like this for your garage floor, uh, reach out to garage experts. They were very reasonable um, They were very quick, you know once I got on the schedule they showed up on time everything looked good uh, I think I was kind of talking about the process they like I said they stripped it down to, to bare concrete 
Um, they do the they do the coating and do the chips, then they come back and do the top coat. No issues with anything so far. It has only been you know eight or nine days, and I'll kind of report back with a follow up. Um, but that's kind of where we're at. So if you guys are interested in something like this, reach out to if you can find a local franchise for garage experts. Uh, and I could put a link to their website. I think they've got a franchise locator on their website as well. Um, so if that's something you guys are interested in, um, you know, check it out. And as always, guys, give me, uh, you know, give me a subscribe, give me a like on the video, and there's going to be more content to come. Uh, we've got some little bit of drag racing that uh, took place that we're going to talk about coming up. So stay tuned for that. We'll talk to you later.